I'm not too sure what's going on, what's going on there, but you can see there's one, two, another four police forces. It looks like the, uh, the back over the, uh, the north pier. And uh, so there's two sets. There's one just there and one further down. So these come every year. And welcome back to a brand new video. So there's quite a bit going on in Blackpool today. So there's a bit of an update on the, uh, the Christmas market. There's a bit of an update on the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Resort. And uh, there's also sort of temporary lights in Blackpool, which is causing a bit of chaos. First of all, look at this. So we just started the video and it looks like someone just dumped the entire bag of rubbish right on the floor. Just look at that. And it goes all over. So it's like the, I mean, it's not like a, a bin bag, but it's just been completely dumped all over. And that is uh, absolutely shocking. So you can't say, you know, it's like the, uh, the seagulls have carried the whole bag over because it's just like, just dumped there. Absolutely shocking. But anyway, moving, a, moving away from a, a bad start in the video, we're gonna have a, a bit of a look near the, uh, the Christmas market because all sorts of rides and everything, what has now entered um, Blackpool. And there's some temporary traffic lights which are causing a bit of a stir. So yeah, come and join me on this uh, bit of a walk around on what's going on in Blackpool today. So we're just uh, having a walk past the, uh, the North Pier. You see the, uh, the tower again, so it's not lit up. It was lit up this morning, that lovely golden color. And you see there's also a couple of uh, police horses just doing their, their rounds, making sure everything's uh, hunky-dory, so to speak. So yeah, so there's lots, uh, lots going on, lots of uh, development um, in Blackpool. Now they are. Oh yeah, you're okay. So yeah, you see that skip as well. So there's lots of work being going on on the, the North Pier. And this has been going on for, for months and months. I know they have been replacing a lot of the, uh, the floorboards. And uh, I, mean, I went on the pier the other day and it certainly needs a, a paint those seats. So maybe they'll do that out of season, get everything ready for uh, a new season next year. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the, uh, the North Pier, and that certainly is uh, my favourite one. It's a lovely one, that one. So, just landed near the uh, Christmas Winterland, the uh, fantastic Christmas market. You see the uh, Extreme there. Uh, look at that huge machine on the back of that, that wagon. And uh, so, it's all arriving, and we've still got 11 days to go. So, you can see, like I said before, there's plenty of work involved in all of this and uh, there's just lorry after lorry coming and going preparing for uh, for this event and you can see the uh, the little huts as well which uh, serve that uh, fantastic coffee the food and all the little uh, all the little stalls what go with this uh, this market arriving and you see the uh, the boards just on the side so all this, all this is uh, all going to be set up so what an amazing event this is going to be for everybody like i said we've got 11 days still to go so I'll just have a, a quick look around because it's, it's amazing like I said, how quick everything is being delivered and set up in time and there's a there's a new one which has uh, arrived um, today. I think it was late last night it arrived. It's the uh, the Super Bob. You just see the uh, that's the uh, the waltzes uh, already getting installed. And uh, look at this one. There we go. That's the uh, that's the extreme. Straight down and then back out there. 
Okay, so that'll be a, a fantastic one. Let's just whip the camera around to the left because you can see the uh, the Super Bob is already being set up. So this, I'd imagine, will be the ice skating ring. You can see everything's got to be uh, so level. So they're, they're out with the spirit levels. And just look at the work and the workmen. Like I said, avidly carrying on. And they started very, very early this morning. You know, it's, uh, this, they must start like it's up seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, to get everything ready for this amazing event. And we'll go and have a look, because you can see that little windmill now is lit up. So uh, sadly, the sails don't go around. Um, it's something to do with the motor, the, uh, the gentleman said. But it all lights up, so we'll have a bit of a sneak preview at that one. Sounds like this is the, uh, the ice skating ring, this one will be. I see the, uh, the amount of people. And yeah, so there's, uh, there's another one that's going to have a, a bit of a close look. You can see all the, uh, the huts being made and set up. So this, this, like I said, this is going to be the uh, bigger and better than any display before. So let's just uh, pan the camera around to the, uh, the right, because we can see the, uh, there's a couple of guys there already putting the, uh, the roofs on the huts. So it's just everywhere you look, there's just machinery going, people building, getting everything ready. See the speakers are up, it's going to be an epic event. So let's have a look at this, uh, this windmill, because this is a new one. This is uh, the new one, which is uh, new to Blackpool. <laughs> I'll grab the, uh, there you go, Bolton supporter. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're really nice chaps, I spoke to them every day this week. I'm um, just documenting this one, uh, really nice. But yeah, this is the, uh, the windmill, look at that, it's all lit up. Like I said, the, uh, sadly, the sails don't go around, but you can see how smashing that one looks. And uh, again, we've got the, uh, the Sky Flyer directly in front, and they're still working on that. See the, uh, the workmen, just where the, uh, the yellow, yellow sort of like parts are. And uh, this is the, uh, the, uh, the uh, artificial snow slope. Again, there's so much work involved in this one. Wow. And you can see, you can see like a, a little letterbox directly in front with like the snow on top. You got all the candy canes. So like I said, this is gonna be one hell of an event. There we go, that's the, uh, the sweet and fudge one, and that is really nice. Look at the, uh, the designs and the little buildings, and they do amazing sweets, like a pick and mix. It's like going back to Woolworths all those years ago, and that really is a nice one. And like you can see, the, uh, it's like they're testing the, uh, the lights. And again, you, like I said, you wouldn't see me on there. But yeah, it's gonna be a, a great one. It's like someone's doing a bit of videoing over there, maybe TikTok or something. He's, uh, he's filming something. So yeah, what a, what a great place. I just thought I'd bring you a bit of an update on this one. Uh, just a, a little shot of the, uh, the cars. See so all the little uh, the cars which you sit in and that will sling you right in the air. And like I said, that is uh, not for me. So there's, a, there's a guy just up there. And, uh, I mean, that's high enough for me. But it goes 190, he's probably he's up 25 feet up, and that goes 196 feet up. You even wouldn't get me at that height. So it's like, it's like a, a totally different town in the daytime. You can see, you know, at nighttime, this is absolutely heaving. There's queues, you know, 30, 40 feet long 
just to go through these uh, these like little spirals, little tunnels. And look, you know, today it's uh, during the day. It's uh, it's completely deserted. And there is the uh, the iconic central pier, and the uh, the big wheels not going out to that. I'd imagine they'll be going round later on tonight. And uh, you see the old uh, seedles. They get everywhere. Look at that. Say hello. So I just popped down out here because there's a, there's some temporary lights and it's causing a bit of chaos um, earlier today on the uh, the promenade. So we're going to have a, a quick look. I'm not too sure what's if it's like just a bit of maintenance they're doing on the lights or uh, if they've failed. But we're going to have a, a quick look. You can see the, uh, the donkeys. They never never fail to uh, attend the beach even though there's a as you know there's a handful of people and also um it's the last day to uh, to grab your uh, your pass because the pleasure beach have opened it up i think it's 50 pound per adult and you can go in uh, and enjoy the entertainment of the pleasure beach but it's a limited time only so if you do fancy grabbing your pass for the pleasure beach they have opened it up um, where you can go in free if you get this pass. So I'll pop all that information into the uh, into the description. So if that's something you'd consider, then uh, go and have a look. Like I said, it might be it might be for you. But yeah, you can just see the uh, the stunning central pier and the uh, and the beach. So as we uh, walk swiftly past the uh, the Odyssey. We can see, I mean, there's a, there's a police car, I think it's whipping by an ambulance, and you get so many, it's like, that's a, that's a police car. No, it's an ambulance. So you often whip past this road very quick. And so, it looks like the, uh, the temporary lights have now gone. But you just see, uh, there we go, all the traffic lights on the back of those, uh, those trucks, all the temporary ones, and we just missed it. So there's carnage earlier on with these lights. So it looks like, the uh, temporary lights have now been removed and we're back to normal in regards to uh, the traffic system. But yeah, it was, uh, it was certainly carnage earlier on. And uh, a little bit of an update on the uh, bubble tea. Because speaking to uh, Leah, such a nice lady. And we've got another ambulance rushing by. And yeah, I was speaking to uh, Tatia, just in regards to that um, near happy days near the bubble tea and she's actually closing during the week so she's only going to be open uh, weekends now i'd imagine because it's the uh, end of the season so she's just open the weekends if you do fancy that bubble tea go and see her just ask for leah really nice lady so i'm not too sure what's going on what's going on there but you can see there's one two another four police horses They're just all heading on down the promenade I was going to end the video, but you can see all the uh, the swallows. It looks like the uh, the back over the uh, the north pier, and uh, so there's two sets. There's one just there, and one further down. So these come every year, and you just see those like the they're trying to find that spot. I'd imagine, but yeah, there's two. There's one right in the very distance towards the end of the pier, and uh, what an amazing sight! Check this out. That's incredible. There they go. So they've been sort of swarming around, you know, for the last sort of like 10 minutes. Uh, so I'd imagine they're just trying to find somewhere before the, uh, before the light goes. What an amazing sight. So yeah, it's only a, a bit of a short video today. Uh, so it's just a bit of a, an update in regards to the uh, the Christmas market and what's going on. So at least the lights have sorted. Like I said, grab your tickets if you want to attend the Pleasure Beach without paying the, uh, the entrance fee. And yeah, until next time. Oh, and just one last thing. So Chris Higgett, the famous pound burger, has now closed his doors until next year. So he, uh, he sadly closed up. Um, yesterday the 4th of November and uh, he's going to enjoy his uh, well-earned rest 
uh, and hopefully these donkeys will too after I imagine another busy day. So until next time, take care of yourselves and it is a bye from me. Bye bye.